Hey guys, we're back. Uh, I hope you're as excited as I am for today because today we actually get to take the brisket out of the brine or our corned beef now out of the brine and we're gonna prep it for cooking. So it's brine now for uh, seven days. So we have to remove it from the brine. We're gonna rinse it. Make sure this is all done with cold water. Do not want to use, you don't want to pre-cook your protein. We're going to rinse this, all kinds of goodness off of it. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to place it in a clean container. And we're going to fill that clean container up with some cool water. We are going to let this sit. We're gonna weight it down, make sure it doesn't float up, keep it kind of submerged there a little bit. We're gonna let this sit for about an hour in the water and then we're gonna switch it with fresh water again and let it sit for about another hour. And then it will be time to season and put it on the grill. All right guys, since we've rinsed that brisket, uh, the brine off the brisket, and it's soaking in some fresh water right now, it's time to make our rub for our corned beef. What you're gonna need is you're gonna need a pan because we're gonna toast uh, some of the ingredients before we crush them up. So, got my pan here on a heat source. You're gonna do your, uh, a teaspoon of allspice berries, okay? Teaspoon of black peppercorns. A teaspoon of whole cloves. Teaspoon of yellow or brown mustard seed. A teaspoon of red pepper flakes. And three teaspoons of fennel. So we're gonna toast that really quick for just a little bit. Just a while, let toast there. While we're doing that, the rest of our rub is gonna have the following. A cup of brown sugar. A quarter cup of kosher sea salt. Three, uh, three tablespoons of um, onion powder three tablespoons of garlic powder, six crushed bay leaves, two uh, tablespoons of fresh ginger, or ground ginger, and a tablespoon of ground coriander. So you guys are popping already. Okay, so we've toasted everything we put in the pan here. We're gonna mix it with our other ingredients. Get this out of the way. Mix this up really good. Again, I realize there's a million ways to do a, a corned beef. Um, you know, you can beer braise it, uh, whatever. Uh, I like to do the actual corned beef, similar to how I do my briskets. Um, I like to smoke it for a couple hours, um, wrap, and then cook until it has the proper internal temperature. Uh, but you can do it, there's a million ways to do it. You can do it however you like. Just like everything we do, this is just one way. Okay, got my rub all good and ready to go. And we're gonna go to town. So, uh, first things first, uh, after you take your, uh, after you take your brisket out of water, you're gonna wanna make sure you uh, pat dry it. Get all that extra water off.
Okay, I like to season the fat capsite first. We're just gonna go all over. If you season up high and maybe do it outside so you don't get in trouble for making a mess in your kitchen. But if you season it high, you get a more even cover. Soft little pat. If I was at home, I would uh, probably wait a little bit and let this uh, this rub adhere to the meat a little bit better, but for the sake of the video, we're just gonna keep going. It's very messy. I don't know if it's very messy or I'm very messy. Depends on who you ask. And if it's who I think you'd ask, she would say I'm very messy. You get the edges. All right, so uh, I would preheat your grill to about 225, and we're going to set it right in there. And we're going to kind of go slow, unwrap for about four hours. Uh, then we're gonna turn the temp up to about 250, um, wrap the, uh, the corned beef up in two layers of tin foil, and we're gonna go for an internal temperature of about 200 degrees. So that's gonna happen overnight, so we'll finish it up with cabbage and vegetables tomorrow after it cooks. Thanks. So what I did is uh, we seasoned it as we uh, just did. I smoked it for uh, four hours at 225. Then I, uh, I wrapped it up, uh, double tin foil like we have right here. Um, put it back in until the internal temperature was 200. Uh, it was actually 203 when I took it off. At that time, I wrapped it in a towel, put it in the cooler, came to work. So while we're waiting right now, this has been resting. While we, uh, it's been, it's resting, I made some cabbage. So if you want to come over here. Okay, so in our cabbage, what we did, I uh, took my Dutch oven here. I put half a pound of bacon, kind of cubed it up a little bit, dropped it in there, uh, you know, browned that up, mixed in one uh, large yellow onion, a uh, one apple and then a almost three pound head of green cabbage salted it fairly a little heavy and pepper and then we put in some beer and just let it brought it to a boil <clears throat> and then we just let it sit until most of the liquid is gone so it's nice and it's nice and soft right now First time we're gonna unfoil this. We're gonna see how it turned out. I, uh, it would be a lie if I didn't tell you that I was very nervous. But let's unwrap it. It's rested for actually about an hour and a half. There she is. Pretty, ooh, gosh, it smells awesome. Time to slice. Of course, the gets the green. I like to do uh, quarter inch slices, but I mean, you can do whatever you want. It's, it's, it's your corned beef and cabbage, it's your meal. Do whatever you want. Do little slices here. I already did one, as you can see. I was too nervous to do it while filming the first slice. And here's the other one. Johnson's Home and Garden smoked corned beef and cabbage. Thank you.